a lot of us like to try to forget about COVID, but uh, back in, uh, during when COVID first started, I got a call from Greenlee, Colorado, our LULAC council there in Greenlee, and that um, a young, uh, that I, one, one of their members, he was 72 years old, had worked at a meatpacking plant for 30 something years, had died at the meatpacking plant. In that same week, five other workers died. And uh, I flew to Greenlee, and uh, I went to the meatpacking plant, and they wouldn't let us in. And uh, we then filed a complaint with the uh, health department, and Greenlee said, look, people are dying, and most of these are Latinos and refugees. And as a result of that, we closed down the plant, and then we went to every single large meatpacking plant, all those steaks, all that chicken, all those pork chops, you know who put that on your table? Latinos and Latinas working in those plants. So we thought they should reserve the right to be protected. And so we did that. And one of the plants that we visited to was Tyson. They're the largest chicken manufacturer in the country. And they not only let us in, I put on the whole garb. I worked on, the, you know, work, went through the line and they made sure that they got the protection for the workers. They do slow down the production line and they made sure that every worker was tested almost on a daily basis. And if they got COVID, they were sent home with pay, which was unusual. And so the one next person I wanna recognize is one of those who made that happen. And that became the industry standard and all the companies followed suit and that saved thousands of lives. And our honoree, next honoree, for a corporate partner is Hector Gonzalez with Tyson Foods for his outstanding leadership and outstanding commitment. <laughs> to help our community and has become a pillar of his dedication and inclusion and supporting safety in the workplace for all our men and women who are essential workers, making sure that America's food is gets to our tables. Let's give a big hand right now to Hector Gonzalez from Tyson Foods. Thank you, LULAC, and uh, thank you President Garcia, CEO Braño, LULAC leadership. It's uh, truly humbling for me to be amongst such accomplished and important Latino leaders in this room. It's, um, it's almost, almost feels like I don't belong here, but uh, I, um, <clears throat> I'm very grateful. My wife and I are deeply grateful for this recognition tonight. There's very little, if anything, that I've achieved in uh, my professional career without the unwavering support of my wife for the last 30 years. Um, but, but my relationship with um, LULAC started about 25 years ago. There was some labor unrest at a plant, our largest, one of our largest manufacturing sites in Amarillo, Texas. And I remember hearing from a LULAC leader who was interested in helping. And so this gentleman was interested in ensuring that the workforce, which was predominantly Latino, that they were treated fairly, that their voice was heard, and that whatever solution we arrived at was an equitable one. This gentleman was one of the most impressive Latino business minds I've worked with in a very long time, his name was Rick Dovalina. Fast forward 20 years, and LULAC again plays a part in a collaborative effort to come up with solutions during one of the most difficult phases of my career. And that happened when President Garcia reached out to then CEO Noel White at Tyson Foods and requested a visit to learn more about what we were doing and what we could do to keep our workforce safe. <clears throat> and so my message 
to you tonight is, is rather simple. It's about the power of relationships amongst people with a common purpose and a testament to the force and the power that Latino leaders can create when we find ways to see things through a common lens. The outcome is something bigger than any individual or any single company can create. For 95 years now, LULAC representatives and its leadership have been engaging people from all walks of life, creating strong and sustainable support systems, breaking down barriers, leveling the playing field, and creating pathways to success for Latinos everywhere. I stand before you tonight as an outcome of the endless sacrifices made by my immigrant parents, and I am an immigrant myself as well. Their selflessness consequently inspires me to do for others, and I consider myself very lucky to have had the privilege to do so alongside LULAC leadership. So regardless of your trade, your function, whatever that may be, tonight I call on each of us to use our own God-given unique skill and talent to lift, inspire, and support the well-being of Latinos everywhere and continue beating a path to a more equitable and prosperous society. Es un placer y un honor estar con ustedes. Muchísimas gracias.